Hey everyone, it has been a very, very, very busy week, uh, month, month and a half, two months, just about for me, but I am uh, trying to get caught up on relatively recent reveals of new LEGO sets, so I'm going to get caught up on some more LEGO City ones in this one. I have updated my audio setup completely for the first time in quite some time, so if this is bad for you, let me know. If you can, let me know specifically what's bad about it but I'm trying to only improve over time. This set here is the Lego City Stunt Team, I believe is going to be its name, 62 pieces. And I do not have the, the uh, prices for any of the sets that we're going to be looking at in this video. I just haven't, uh, haven't come across them myself just yet. Interesting things here include the dark green color for the, the full fairing super bike modern body piece for motorcycles and also the lime green color for the motocross style wheels and then the street style atv has i believe dark azure colored wheels there there's a better look at that just all set up by itself uh yeah yeah the vita rush i really like that brand that they introduced what was it a couple years ago or so i like the colors you know they're bright and and vibrant cool the ramp is i mean it's a ramp Moving on, racing cars, just a couple of racing cars. Now, in real life, these two cars would probably not be racing against each other on a track. This is a prototype style car, and this is more of a European touring car style car, but with a longitudinally mounted engine with a big old intake scoop coming out of it. So it's kind of funny in that way, but I mean, ultimately, it's for kids five and up, it's just a couple of racing cars are supposed to look really cool. It's interesting that we've got a different color scheme for Octan over here. Octan Electric, is it? Octan Energy? Octan Electric? What is that? It's an E-something. E-sub-something. What is that? Little, little bit there. Let's see if I can say anything more about it here. Octan E... What? If I should know this, forgive me. I have forgotten it. But yeah, uh, decent looking car here. Pretty decent looking car here as well. I actually personally like this one better to my surprise. I like what they did for the shaping for the front grille with that red colored partially squared off fender piece. It, it fits perfectly there. Six studs wide for each of these, which is fine. They're supposed to be wide body designs. And if you don't like that hood scoop being there, just take it off and replace it with a tile or something. Only thing I don't like about this one is just a little bit of gap right there, right there. But it's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. 190 pieces don't know the the uh price for this one either i expect it to be reasonable ah now this one i hope will be reasonable the new gas station or service station 354 pieces for it i wouldn't be surprised if lego tried to ask 50 dollars for it though because the last major gas station standalone gas station that they did was one of the most overpriced lego sets of all time especially on a price to part ratio basis. People always complain about the licensed sets, but Lego City sets can be ridiculous with their, their overpricing. But this looks pretty nice and they've got some nice colors going on here. It's definitely smaller than that last one, so it better be cheaper, but I would not be surprised to see this overpriced once again. Teal color, the color, ba color balance is a little bit wonky with some of these pictures, but that is the, the primary color for this VW bus looking thing is the teal color. I got the Captain Boomerang Boomerang there on the front. Nice that they have the swivels for the pumps. There's also an electric uh, juice up station, a little charging station here with the solar panels on top that aren't really going to do much. I mean, they're tiny. I mean, come on, think about it. But that's okay. I really like this, except for the doors on the sides. I like the texture. I like the idea there. Probably how they'll work will be cool, but there's, there's something something a little bit too commercial about that, too industrial about it. This crossover SUV is, I think, one of the nicer looking crossovers that LEGO has done to date. Nice little thing that they've done with the... Uh, actually, there's a lot of nice little shaping around the, the shoulder and hip line, front to back. What they've done for the, he the headlights and also around the back here. Yeah, I, I, I rather like this. And I, I can't tell if that's dark azure or medium azure for that stripe going down the middle. But this is pretty tasteful. The whole thing, I think, is pretty tasteful. Pretty nicely done. I just hope that it won't be super, 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 super overpriced. And I'm concerned that it will be. 
Well, this escalated quickly. I did not see this coming. 897 pieces for this tuning workshop. They haven't done something like this in a while. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, looking at every single element of this. And I think I can confidently say I like all of it. Yeah. We don't have great high quality photos of this yet, but you know, I'll take it from left to right. This little trailer is nice. Rounded around the sides, plenty large when, uh, door, also a window over here uh, that can swing open. I think that's going to be pretty nice. Got that classic smart car kind of design for this little car, which is just a good way in Lego to make a small car, you know, an actual car that a person fits in. Most cars that Lego makes hold one single minifigure. This is one of the smallest cars that you can make to hold the same number of minifigures. I think it's pretty effective and a good thing to continue along. I like these a lot better in, in Lego than I do in real life. Uh, selection of minifigures, very nice. Nice uh, broad selection there. You got the new style of motorcycle chassis here. I don't know what's going on with the rear engine there, but new style of chassis with the dark orange color. Would not have expected that to happen. Let's see if, let's see if it actually looks better over here. Uh, my central heating is turning on, so if you hear a little bit of noise in the background, my uh, please forgive me for that, but I will... Uh, let me know if it if it bothers you. It's on right now. If it bothers you, let me know. I will make sure not to record during such times in the future. But yeah, I think it, you can see it a little bit better here. You see how you can adjust the, the coloration and the texturing on the side a little bit. There's enough room for a tile on either side. And yeah, I think that's that's an interesting thing. Sorry, I did not need to do that. What else? The doghouse is nice. Yeah, it's just nice. More fancy than it even needs to be the new bulldog it's like a it's like a comic style bulldog uh, almost you know like cartoon style and i like that i like this hot rod that looks nice the, the creator has that one three and one coming out with something similar We've got the tuner car here which also looks pretty respectable and the tow truck definitely looks definitely looks respectable i appreciate the the eight stud width at the rear compared to the six stud width at the front. And this looks like it should be able to actually work and lift up at least a couple of these cars. And then you have the shop itself, which has sides, it has two sides. The front closes up completely and the back isn't too open. You know, this side over here is open. The back is open, but I mean, this, this is enough for me. I frequently complain, constantly complain about how open Lego's buildings are, but I think this is pretty good. And it's got a, a lift up there for changing out engines. I'm assuming that that can be swapped into here. Maybe you can plop it on top of this as well, or on top of this. Yeah, it's it's just good. I'd love I'd love to see more details of the shop there, but you can see a little bit of some stuff here. But yeah, I I love this set. I think this is my favorite. Oh yeah, and even the 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 welding helmet there. I think this is my favorite new set. To be revealed so far and there's one other thing okay there are there are streaks on that i thought that might be a slick which might be a new tire but i don't think it actually is no it's not it's an existing one yeah so that's fine that's cool uh, 897 pieces though puts this at risk of being priced at 100 dollars us i sure hope it isn't because it doesn't feel like 100 dollars us worth of stuff to me personally maybe if i parted it out and looked at the values of each of these things and imagined how much would this cost? How much would these cost? How much would... And then added them up. Maybe I could get to that point. But just look, looking at the whole thing, I would not want to pay that much for it. Uh, this is an interesting thing. It's a Lego City Police brick box. So it's you know just one of those general boxes of, of stuff. But it's themed. And it's very carefully themed to allow you to build a nice looking truck, a fine looking police car, six stud... Wait eight studs wide eight stud well if you include the you know six studs wide plus the full fenders and the tires are beneath that and a small police station and a motorcycle as well that's cool this is 301 pieces this comes with hope it'll cost less than 50 bucks i hope this will be 35 bucks at the most you, you do have to pay a little extra for the fancy box it's just the way it goes unfortunately but yeah I'd rather it be 30 bucks 
for 300 pieces, but I think you will have to pay more for the fancy box. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was 35. But yeah, th this is nice, and they they call it a two-in-one build. I didn't save a picture of the secondary build. My I don't think I did, at least. Nope. Ah, there I did. I did. Yay. Okay. Whew. I think I like this better. At, at least I certainly like it for the truck. I mean, this truck is nice. Yeah, that truck is awesome. It looks it just looks cool to me. And then you get a little kiosk, a little police kiosk, kind of like I've got a, a miniature police kiosk in my city. But uh, I'm sure this leaves you with plenty of pieces left over. The idea with these brick boxes in general is that, you know, you go build whatever you want. But it's nice that they give you some some goals, some tasks, some things to try with it. So I like that. And then poly bags. Sorry, terrible pictures only is is, is all I have. Just the, just the, the little ones. Maybe some better ones are, are going around by, by now. But a uh, police car. I don't know how these will be available. It's probably like, you know. Check out aisle kind of stuff, Walmart, Target. Some maybe gifts with purchase, but usually these are just direct sale, $5 things. So police car here, police helicopter here. That's not bad looking at all. That is decent. Yeah, not bad. Little fire rescue water scooter or jet ski. Perfectly fine. Cheap. And then this beach buggy, which has different colors. That's that's not orange. That's not yellow. That's flame uh, orangish yellow, or is it flame yellowish orange? I always get those confused, but it's the school bus yellow color. And then red wheels. Nice. Something different. And lastly, I think this is the last one. Yep, this is the last one. The police minifigure accessory set. I am hoping that this will be done in the same way that they did the last few uh, minifigure kits where they're not assembled and therefore they are significantly cheaper than the ones that they had been doing for years now that were pre-assembled that were way too expensive and only becoming more expensive practically every year uh, so if this is sold in just a single box or a single pack blister pack of of parts in a bag or something then this actually could be a reasonable price and a good thing to have on the market absolutely Comes with an official Duke Detain. I don't remember her name, and I don't know if these two are named characters, but that's not a bad-looking little ATM. It's really basic, but overall, I think that this is a pretty cool little set. And that's all that I had in my list for this video, so I won't drag this along. I think I've gotten across all of my major, major thoughts about these so far. Really looking forward to that myself. Hope it won't be too expensive. Definitely looking forward to this as well. I think this is a nice thing to have on the market that folks of all ages will be able to to appreciate quite a bit, even though it's marked for five and up. That's that's really surprising that they said it that low. I didn't even realize that. This is cool. This is just okay. Just nothing too fancy. All right, I will move on. Talk to you again soon.